we've got 20 beds in the emergency shelter for an overnight stay, and we've got 20 beds in the transitional housing program for an up to two year stay. And I have to give a shout out to everybody at AIDS Alabama. And we'll start with our CEO, Kathy Hires. <laughs> started buzzing around in my head about five years ago, almost five years ago in November. And of course the first person I had to clear a grant with was Kathy. Uh, I don't think either one of us at that time had a feeling it was going to lead us to this. Uh, I can safely say that I didn't think so. And then Kathy's nodding her head in agreement. But um, we've got an amazing staff at AIDS Alabama. We've got some of the most caring social workers, dedicated, working long hours, answering the phone when they shouldn't. And those people, and especially the ones that are used to working with this population, will be here. And we'll have a wonderful staff that's not complete yet. We have talented directors that will be here uh, leading our grants management and writing grants and, and running the programs. and. It really is going to be an amazing place, and I hope that each one of you is thinking right now, well, how can I get involved? How can I volunteer? And for the folks that paid for this place, I have to thank the city of Birmingham, and I'm so grateful for the mayor being here and Corey Stallworth and Megan from the Community Development Department. The city was responsible for $1.3 million. For wow. But I know that the city has a vested interest in its citizens. And I know that youth homelessness and the youth in general and neighborhood revitalization are big concerns of our Mayor Woodman. Julie Reynolds with the Housing Affordability Trust, I don't know if Julie's here, but they um, have funded us three years in a row for this. And the initial funder goes shout out to the Community Foundation, Kim Robinson. <laughs> thought to give money, seed money, to an idea that was traveling around in a manila folder at that time. But they did, and it's gotten much bigger. And also shout out to Medical Properties Trust, too, for a generous grant that they've given us. And then the rest of this is just grassroots, y'all. Please let me introduce the Honorable Mayor of Birmingham, Randall L. Woodfield. Everybody, I just spent a considerable amount of time thanking the world, and all of us should be thanking her, so let's give it up for her. Thank you. Stay right here. Um, a couple, listen, I want to go deeper on just reflecting on our commitment. I get credit for a lot of things that a lot of other people are responsible for walking out. So I do want to turn to my team members, Dr. Thomas, as well as Corey Stallworth and Kelvin Datcher here. They're with the Community Development Department and they do a lot of things on behalf of the citizens of Birmingham. So thank you all for partnering with these good people. So I've long said that our young people are our city's most precious resource. I mean, if you are standing or seated under this very nice tent, in fact, you believe the same thing that I believe. But there has to be more than words behind that statement, um, which is why I'm so glad for you and your team for actually making this happen. There has to be action, and this is proof of actual action. The way station. Providing a safe haven for our young people, as well as giving them the protection they need at the most critical and vulnerable moments of time is critical to all of us as human beings. Thanks to this shelter, our young our shelter, our young people will have access to, let's just rattle off a few things, support services, warm beds, meals, showers, and my favorite, her favorite, yeah. hope. <laughs> That's what this is about, a tangible way of providing hope. 
I want to personally thank the Smithfield community and so many others that our friend has already mentioned for being so welcoming to this project and coming together for this vision, AIDS Alabama, and in bringing this into fruition. Thank you so much. Just to close us out, to all the residents, to all the people that are present, know that this isn't an effort that we can manage alone. <laughs> she can't manage it alone. <laughs> so please continue to provide that critical support, prayers, a hand, encouragement, and positive support. Oh, and of course, money. <laughs> <laughs> you really know. What?